Welcome to the new journey to paradise. I am Michael and I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And today, in part 10 of the series, we will talk about the Joel II army. But before we start, I will remind you to subscribe, like, share, click the bell icon and bring forth all the videos into the world, not only of our series of the new journey to paradise, but also of the mini series that we produce for Patreon. If you're guided to help us to bring forth more videos, if you're guided to help us to lift up the needy, and if you're guided to help us to bring forth societies of the rose in the world, and you would like to donate to us or support us in any other way, then all the information you will find in the description box below. Now, without any further ado, let us start with part 10 of our series, the Joel II Army. I see a picture. I see us walking, walking in the wilderness. I am in front and there is a noise behind me. I turn around and what do I see? I see mighty warriors walking behind me. All are clothed in warrior dress with a helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit in their hands. And they're all walking towards Mount Zion. I realize immediately what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the Joel II army. The Joel II army is on the way in the great exodus in the great exodus towards Mount Zion. They are walking by ranks, the Lion of Judah squad in front and all the other tribes following behind. The Joel II army is a great exodus and the army of the Lord. Triple grace and societies of the rose representing the great exodus and the army of the Lord. Let us go into the Bible and see what Joel has written. Blow you the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There had not been ever the like, Neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoured before them, and behind them a flame burned. The land is as the garden of Eden before them, and behind them a desolate wilderness. Yeah, and nothing shall escape them. Joel 2, 1 to 3. In this verse, the holy mountain mentioned is Mount Zion. And this is our destiny. We have started on our journey to go to the holy mountain, to go to Mount Zion. A fire devoured before them, the pillar of fire in front and behind them, in the same pattern as it was in the first exodus from Egypt. Now it will be again in the great exodus out of the world and out of Babylon. The land before them is the Garden of Eden. That's where we are walking towards. We are walking towards paradise because we know that when we reach Mount Zion and at the sixth seal, we will be raptured into paradise. This is our destiny. And for this destiny, we are called together. And for this destiny, we walk in love, unity and support. And for this destiny, we gather all the other people together. They walk towards paradise and behind them a desolate wilderness. They come out of Babylon that is fallen. A great people and a strong, a multitude that was never seen before and will never seen again. This is the second rapture, the great wheat harvest, the multitude that is mentioned in Revelation at Mount Zion, at the throne of glory of the Father of Yahweh, clothed in fine white linen, because the white linen are the righteous acts of the saints. That's the reason why we 
as Rosarians, as people who are coming together in societies of the Rose, do a daily sacrifice of love. We are doing the righteous deeds of the saints every day. In the same way, in the same pattern as Jesus did righteous deeds every day. By lifting up the meek and suffering. By raising the dead. By healing the sick. All his deeds you will find in the Bible. In the New Testament. Let us continue. The appearance of them is as the appearance of horses. And as a horseman, so shall they run. Like the noise of chariots on the tops of mountains shall they leap. Like the noise of a flame of fire that devoured the stubble. As a strong people set in battle array. Before their face the people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war. And they shall march every one of, on his ways. And they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another. They shall walk every one in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro in the city. They shall run upon the wall. They shall climb up upon the houses. They shall enter in at the windows like a thief. Joel 2, 4 to 9. Now the explanation. Horses and horsemen. There's a quick movement going now into the nations to gather the people, the two sons and daughters of God together. Before their face the people shall be much pained. The recognition of the Rosarians as two sons and daughters of the Most High God and shining the light into the darkness. People will realize that they are sinners. They will realize that they have done something wrong. And they see the righteousness and the contentness of the people in the societies of the Rose. They run like mighty men and they shall walk everyone on his path. We are walking the narrow path towards Mount Zion. And when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. We are being protected under the wing of the Father. Because the Father will protect all of his children. And we will be the two sons and daughters of, the, of God Almighty, of Yahweh. They shall run to and fro in the city, and climb upon the houses, and enter in at the windows like a thief. Societies of the Rose will be established in all nations and towns, and their messages will enter all houses and come to them as a thief in the night. All eyes will see them, and all eyes will wonder what kind of people are this? Who are these people clothed in white? Who are these people call themselves Rosarians and who are gathering together in societies of the Rose? They will find out that these are the remnant, the true sons and daughters of the living God. Let's continue in the Bible. Therefore also now, says the Lord, turn you even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning and rent your heart and not your garments and turn unto the Lord your God. For he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness and repented him of the evil, who knoweth if he will return and repent, and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, those that suck the breasts, let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber, and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch and the altar, and let them say, Spare your people, O Lord, and give your heritage to reproach. That the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, Where is their God? Joel 2, 12-17 Turn you even to me with all your heart, 
and rent your heart and turn unto the Lord your God. We are laying our heart at the feet of the Father. Our hearts will be turned back to the Father, our first love. Leave a blessing behind. We are doing daily sacrifice of love for God, not in our name, but in the name of Yahweh, in His name. Call a solemn assembly and gather the people and sanctify the congregation. We gather the people in societies of the rose and put on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit. Assemble the elders and gather the children. We have two elders for each society of the rose, a man and a woman who are standing at the helm of each group. And a maximum of 50 Rosarians, children of the Most High, are in each assembly. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. We are the wise virgins who will take part in the wedding banquet of the Lord. Let's return to the scripture. Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. For he had given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain and the latter rain in the first months. And the floors shall be full of wheat, and the fats shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the cankerworm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I send among you. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, that had dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. And you shall know that I am the midst of Israel, and that I am the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. Joel 2, 23-27 Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God. True sons and daughters of God, and the co heirs with Jesus Christ, are the people in the societies of the rose. For he had given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first months. We will combine the wisdom given in the church age, what is the former rain, with the latter rain of the great exodus, starting in April 2019. And I will restore to you the years the locust has eaten, overflow with wine and oil. We will enter into paradise and live in Eden. This is our destiny. We will be raptured by our Father and by His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, at the sixth seal. My people shall never be ashamed. We will receive the blessings of the Lord forever and ever. And the scripture says, And it shall come to pass afterward, that I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, your old men shall dream dreams, your young men shall see visions, and also upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my Spirit, and I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever sh shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. Joel 2, 28-32 I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. All generations that will walk in the great exodus will be covered with the Holy Spirit and will have access to knowledge and wisdom. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. As in the first exodus, God will also show mighty miracles in the great exodus towards Mount Zion. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord. At the sixth seal, when we have reached Mount Zion, 
and the gathering from the nation is complete. Then the rapture into paradise starts, and the 144,000 will be sealed, and at the time stars will fall from heaven, the sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, and the world will try to hide in caves because the rest of the lamp is at the door. All what is written in Joel 2 is proclaimed and practiced by Triple Grace and Societies of the Rose. Let's have another listing here to see. First, a call to come out of the world in Babylon. Second, walking together in the great exodus towards Mount Zion. Third, to gather the people into assemblies, societies of the Rose, that are led by two elders, a man and a woman. Fourth, bring in the people from all nations and towns by establishing societies of the Rose all over the world. Fifth, spread the message into all houses like a sieve in the night and shine forth as an example to all people in the world. Six, do a daily sacrifice of love for the Father. The righteous deeds of the saints. Seventh, the thief dreams and visions and the blessings of the Lord. Eight, be protected under his wings. Nine, being gathered at the sixth seal at Mount Zion to be ruptured into paradise, or sealed as part of the 144,000. We are the Joel II army, the two sons and daughters of God. Please also watch our teaching about the two sons and daughters of God. A must watch. The children of Zion. And you can be part of it, and you can enter paradise, the Garden of Eden at Mount Zion. Now start with Triple Grace. Start today. Come together. Join us. Walk with us a new journey to paradise. Establish societies of rose in your neighborhood. Bring the love of the Father forth into your life, into your nation. And claim your destiny, claim your purpose in life. Come together in love, unity and support. Establish societies of the rose in all nations and towns to gather the two sons and daughters of the Most High God and to walk in the great exodus towards Mount Zion, to his throne of glory, to enter into paradise and to be with him and his only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, forever and ever. You have it. The door is open right in front of you. You only have to step through it and walk that narrow path to Mount Zion. You can do it with us because we give you our hand to walk with us. But you can also go with other groups that have the spirit of Elijah. The aim is to come to the holy mountain at the time of the rapture, at the sixth seal. It has begun this April 2019, in the first months as prophesied by Joel, and it will end at the sixth seal. Turn your heart to God the Father, and walk with us in the great exodus. I s I'm so grateful that you are all here with me, and that you have listened to this very, very important message about the Joel II army. Our destiny is to be raptured, to be raptured into paradise, to be with the Father and the Son forever and ever, to come back with him for the Millennium Kingdom, to rule the nations with a rod of iron. But to do so, we have to come out of the world, out of Babylon. We have to repent of our sins and walk the new path in righteousness and in love. And not in our name, but in the name of Yahweh, of God Almighty. We have to do righteous acts every day. We will meet together, not in churches where we are sitting once a week. No, we will meet daily in the societies of the Rose. And we will do daily sacrifices of love for the Father. So please watch also the other videos in our series. Also especially the video about the Son and Daughters of God and the videos about the societies of the Rose. Learn, study, 
Register, be part of Triple Grace, our interactive website. Everything what we teach you will also find there in writing, so that you can read it again and again. If you have questions, please send them to me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. I will answer every question you have. Please lay your heart at the feet of the Father and become a transformed person. Walk in a new body, walk in a new love for God and His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, filled with the Holy Spirit, wearing the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, to be part of the Joel II army. I thank you for watching. Please subscribe, share the videos, like it, click the bell icon, so that you are informed about the next videos that will come up. Have a look at our playlist, not only about the new journey to paradise, but also about the mini-series we produce for Patreon. Follow our daily prophetic word, where the Holy Spirit is giving you information what to do in the next steps. May God bless you and your family abundantly. It is a great honor that you are walking with me on this new journey to paradise. And I love you all dearly because you are my brothers and sisters. And together we will be clothed in white and we will be standing at the feet of the Father, at his mountain, the holy mountain, Mount Zion. Another teaching will come up about Mount Zion, so do not miss it. Please assist us, help us, support us in this important way. A new life is in front of you. Walk through that open door. If you feel to support us with donations, all the information will be in the description box below. And for today, I thank you again. And we will see us very soon for the next video, part 11. My name is Michael, and I wish you a blessed weekend. Maranatha.